Hello everyone, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. So fingers crossed my editing skills and camera skills are gonna be half decent and I can get a good enough video to show you what I've got today. And oh, I'm so excited, let's just jump in and show you. So I have got the brand new HPI WRA Subaru. Now, I'm so excited, I just literally cut the seal. About to look in the box for the first time. course we had to get it in nitro you just can't not and let's the Richard Burns 2001 WRC drivers champion edition one and cool that does look pretty cool so let's get it out let's take a look at it and get cracking and here it is WR8 nitro oh so excited about opening this and taking a look inside as you can see it's got the G3 nitro engine in which is a really good engine Good, powerful. It's got adjustable uh, ready tuned suspension, adjustable gear differentials. Also comes with the ready spec tires and WRC style wheels. So let's open this up, and take a look, see what's inside. So of course we've got a manual. We'll probably definitely have to have a read of that later on. How to break the engine in, all that sort of stuff. Got some extra uh, stickers here. We've got the uh, transmitter itself and a bag of batteries, uh, some spaces for your oil shocks, some Allen keys, and a multi tool to help you get your uh, glow plug out and stuff. So that's what's in the box, and then of course the masterpiece itself. I don't know if you can see here, but on the side of the box it does have 0222. So it'll be interesting to know whether it's the 222nd one or whether it's just a random number that somebody's uh, scribbled on, on the side of the box there. So I'm now going to pull this out and get it out. Okay, so it's removed from the box, removed all the packaging, and yeah, just keeps getting better and better. The more I look at it, HBI, you have really smashed it with this brand new WR8. Look at the ground clearance on it. Looks so good. I love the look. You can see the roll bar in there. Obviously, it is only a sticker, but it just looks so good. And like I said earlier, Richard Burns, back in 2001, so 21 years ago now, he won that World Rally Championship. And yeah, look at this. It is a bug eye for you Subaru uh, fans out there like myself. I do own a Subaru, but it's a version 5 STI, so one of the classics, which for me, I do prefer, I think a bug eye wasn't really my favorite Subaru, but I mean, have a look. <laughs> it does look so good. So yeah, this is actually based off the HPI Bullet monster truck. And if you ever owned one of them, then you'd know the chassis and the drivetrain was really sort of durable and sturdy. So if you guys are sending this down the gravel roads, which you know you should be with it, then you know, you don't need to be worrying about breaking too many parts, hopefully fingers crossed. But I mean, looking over this, look, double wishbone suspension, oil filled shocks that are fully adjustable. So if you want more camber, less camber, you know, if you want to change the ride height, to uh, you know, set up how you want it. That's exactly what you want. Front and rear sway bars. If you look from the back, this thing looks quite aggressive. Look with the red sway bars. I do like that. Gives it a really nice touch. The tires, the tire and the wheels are good as well. Look, these rally style wheels and the rubber as well. It's a proper rubber. It's not just like some cheap, horrible tire that's gonna just disintegrate within a couple of hours of use. You know, these do look good. The engine as well is a, it's based off the bullet, which is a G3 engine, but this one's a HO, which is a higher output one. So you do have a steel fly one in there, which is gonna idle a lot better, hopefully, than the other G3. So, you know, it's gonna give you a bit more performance as well. I love this aluminum tuned uh, sports pipe as well. Exhaust, it looks really good. You got your 75cc tank there as well. Your differentials filled with oil, bevel gears, you know, strong and tough. That's exactly what you want with a car like this. Two stage air filter keep all the dirt out but yeah I literally cannot wait to run this car in and just send it down some gravel roads you know what this car is really built for so you know guys you gotta like you gotta subscribe 
because you've got to stay tuned for the next video because it's going to be so decent.